Hello and welcome, my name is Ahura and this is my Let's Play series of Europa Series 4 where we are playing as the Ottomans and we are currently in a war with Ethiopia down here. So let's go have a look at that. Oh, lots of new things. Rival, some claims, Papal State joining the coalition. And one year away from new tech. And a revolt! Um, I think I should probably go and see if I can deal with that before I go up there. There's a chance that I can get there still. And lots of trade disputes. People hate me for some reason. Don't understand it. And the good thing I turned around there because that, of course that would fall at a 23% chance, that's, that's clear, and of course this would probably fall as well, just before I get there, no, uh, at least some luck, at least some luck. Is it give me something? Alema has almost no influence at this point. Seems I can drop a bit of the um, bit of the land from the merchants as well now. Uh, estates, estate was here. Take a little bit of this land back. bit of land back from the merchants. And let's continue with this war then. Let's go down here, put a leader in charge. Go and take care of that army. And we crush that army on our way to the second one. Saxony left the coalition again. They they started the coalition, then left it, then joined it again, and now they've left it. And we can once again grant admiralships and stuff. Let's actually go and do that. Uh, turn point influence should be fine. The same here. Influence is fine. And none of them is really worth anything, but the influence is nice because it increases these modifiers. Oh, again, of course, it's a nice free general that you get. And we are, of course, crushing these guys so easily because, well, they have a... They have way lo better or worse tech than we do. Groups of somatic settlers have entered the province of Hargeisa. The province population is being either displaced or assimilated by the Ormo. More of these fetishists. Oh, and it seems like I need to get some power for my headset. And I took another province. Probably go and deal with that first. Um, split you up, take some of you down there and deal with those guys. So many rebels! Oh, we have some soldiers coming down here. I can deal with that. Now it's just a matter of seating down the rest. Uh, let's go there. 
and siege that down. Actually, what we should do here is just carpet sieging. someone on the way to every single province now and then we should probably before we end this war we need to uh, start this war because they are uh, guaranteed so if we end the war against Ethiopia and then start the war on Harad then we'll be in war with Ethiopia all over again uh, um, I think that'll be fine Let's let them go through this way instead Gain one stability or prestige? Well, we'll gain the, the stability. I think we had this shot while ago. It's one of the generic... Um, generic events from the start of the game. And besides, before we can take all of this territory, we need to deal with all of these costs. So we have some time to go to war with uh, Hara here as well. And then I would probably want to do the peace with Hara first, so I'll make sure that we can take all of Hara so we have one less country to go to war with. And now we pay for our general because we ran out of power protection. But I think I'm gonna keep him around uh, because since we got done with the quality ideas, we don't really have that much to use on. Like, we will soon get far ahead on military tech, but it's time to take diplomatic and administrative tech. Oh, and next time we will get development and administrative efficiency, making cars even cheaper. Very nice. Very, very nice indeed. Let's just dismiss this. There. How are we looking with those ripples? I think there's a whole. Oh, for some stupid reason, they stopped up there. Uh, well, I guess we're sending these guys up here then. Let's send these armies down here then. Alright, they should really change that. So the reason why this happened is because these guys had a route planned when they were black flagged and then when they got into territory and lost the black flag, they had planned to go through some territory that they couldn't go through. Um, and I really feel like it should be possible for Paradox to program it so that either it planned ahead of time that it would lose the black flag or that it recalculated a route instead of just stopping. Because it's real f effing annoying that you have to, oh, I sent these soldiers here and I expect them to be where they were supposed to be, but instead they just sub some random place and I now have to delay my plans by several months in order to to get them where I want them. So let's got get all these guys down here. Get ready for the next war. But it's, it's just it's details like that that makes the game or that annoys you once you've been playing the game for a while. Especially in games like this where you have such huge empire. Like if they stop somewhere, it might take them several months, up to a year to, to travel the distance. Oh, we took this one back now. It seems I can be there with no problem. And I... It seems like we're lucky that they didn't 
get to take them. I do it in this. Well, it, we were lucky that I didn't take that, but back that might have fallen and got an extra separatism. Well, because the path didn't work quite good enough. That that's a stupid mistake. Something that I I feel like paradox should easily be able to deal with. Then we do the seed split. Send these guys here. I actually sent most of the guys. The reason to have all of this. I actually just sent these guys there and take the big group out here. There's no reason that they suffer that one month attrition. I'm gonna take core creation and put it in the bottom here because I'd rather see my rebel factions. Uh, core creation put it in the bottom, where I can see my rebel factions easier. Easier to get a glance and see if there's someone who's at ADR 90%. So the Muscovites in Sustal. So I might as well send that army there. To style, that's right here. They can even be there, so that's fine. Two style is that's one of the ones we just took. High development. We have two. This is also kind of high development. That's one of the ones we should add once we get more states allowed. All our vassals is coming down to help. And those cores are done soon. First couple finished now. Get you guys out of there. No reason why you will be looting that province. All this land down is so low development. There's nowhere where I can park a 30 stack. I thought yes, I told you to go away. Let's go back to speed four. Finish this war. Um, an advisor died and a another job well done for our Muscovites. Well, we already did or got ready to deal with that, so that should be fine. So what's the next next step? Well of course we are doing over there and war with France again. Well, we, we are trying to fabricate claims on Spain, but they are still in the coalition. So, um, probably need something to do while that cools down a bit more. Um, anyway, we need to fabricate quite a lot of claims, I think. So, what's the next step? I think the next step is gonna be declaring maybe on these these guys here, the Jai Um getting some cores back for Baluchistan, maybe giving them some more land here. Also, we should soon be able to start. Yeah, it seems like that um, malice we got on uh, integrating is gone, so I think once we end this war, we start integrating both of these countries. So let's just make sure that we have topped up relations with both of them. Ooh. Oh, sorry. Really annoying. I have a button on the side of my mouse that uh, 
that activates my music and it keeps bumping into the side of the keyboard which is kind of annoying when you're trying to be taping something okay so uh, we need a deployment back I think this one's been there long enough another conversion done and it does seem like we might actually end up needing the religious ideas but I would rather have the expansion ideas first so we'll have to see it's not like we're in a real hurry anyway let's just split this army and have it in two provinces so Ta-da! we want both of your provinces your money 20% O extension And might as well start coring those right away. And the other piece. So what do we have claims? Only this one. Uh, let's just take as much as we can. So this is 74% O extension, so that's fine. And of course people will get unhappy. I how in the world does Poland get affected by this? I guess they're just mad for the sake of being mad, but I'll still take this. Bam! And call that as well. And we're getting quite a lot of corruption. We should probably spend a little more so we don't get too much. A lot of corruption due to O extension right now. So, those wars are done. Um, I think I'll get rid of this castle. And so the next war is probably with Jaisal Army here. And they are allied with Yunpur, which is unfortunately one of the larger countries here. All take 13. We're about to do take 16. Um, I think we just declare the war. Move both of these down here. Limit 19, that's basically nothing. Yeah, we lost the conquest because we conquered it. This is only Muscovites rising up. We have a lot of money, so let's spend some of that. Trade company, nothing too much. Uh, 30, or 0.3 yes, it is, but this is more. 0.32, 0.36. We get more 0.58. I'm pretty sure we that's close to the best we can get. Uh, let's see workshops 0.32. Um, would I see if it were a list? If you you could click it and then get a list like. Um, like with the development, because this is kind of hard to get a v overview. Like in small countries, this is a fine way of representing the knowledge, but once you get to a certain size, it gets hard to get an overview of this. So a list would be nice. So we improved our economy a little bit. We should probably also deal with the rest of this Arabian Peninsula soon. Let's let's send. Oh yeah, and we needed to to start this integration, so we can annex them now. Uh, how long would that take? It'll take us May 1602, 1623. The problem is that if we start integrating both at the same time, then once the smaller one finishes. I'll carry over Malice on this one, 
So I think I'm going to start this one up and then I'm going to see if I can fix it so that the other one will, um, will be done around the same time. So I'm going to start integrating to Gua. I'm going to go into policies and add the annexation cost. So now they will be done on 16 or 16. And Kiwa would be done on. Sixteen oh one, so fifteen years we have to wait. We can probably do the war in that time. Oh, did I click the button? Apparently I did. Uh let, let's cancel that. Didn't want to do that. And I start keep. Let's find that place. Will later. So for some reason, people from this area keeps getting into my precious lands and corrupting them with their vile, vile way ways. From this. Uncolonized land, that's really weird. It happens a lot for some reason. That's not good. I don't like that. Okay, let's go to war. Just need a diplomat. Go to war for their claims. Um, yeah, we'll lose some. You can't even get there. Let's just get you up there. Make sure that you are the guy with plus two. Yes. Can you at least... I guess, guess we can split him and send one guy there. One guy there. Then it's just a waiting game. France ended the war. Probably just peace someone up, yeah, because they're in war with Spain. Needing more of Spain. Poor Spain. That was a quick siege, I must say. And this goes to. I think there were Burulukis done. It seems our enemies have uh, access to Multan, so we can go through there as well. Go and start dealing with uh, John Poor so we can get them out of the war. Just yeah, you two go there. Transfer this to Belukistan. And that fell as well. You go deal with that fortress. So now we just need to punch these guys out of the wall and we can end it. I think. Yeah, we can just give all of this to our vassal. We'll still get the aggressive expansion, of course. Um, but we don't have to worry about the OX extension and stuff. A new flagship. Let's do some improvement with these guys so we maybe even be able to get all three at once. Ah, we don't we don't have diplomats for that, so. So, a fleet can't be complete without a glorious flagship, so we can spend 50 to get a galleon, 20 to get a frigate, or 10 to get a galleon as well. Of course we want the, the big ship. And of course it's over here. We can't get it back. So nice of them to put it in somewhere where we can't fucking use it. Stupid. Stupid game. Well, I'm just gonna sink it. I can't use it. Uh, 
That was a stupid event. It should really. You're building a flagship. Of course, you would build it in your capital. That should be a given. Maybe I'm just being too reasonable. And we have Umbria and Napoli, I think. Yes. So let's get these islands. Oh, we don't have more power. Invading India now. Portugal was... Oh, they ate some small country. Okay. And got some rebels. Uh, well, at least it's a fortress. It'll be some time before they take that, so I think we can take this fortress and then see these guys up there. We'll go deal with that. Let's see, Jianpu, are you ready to peace out yet? But I just realized we've been <laughs> using way too much time here, so uh, hope to see you in the next episode. Um, and have a good day!